What's it, Brian? Yes. Hey guys, it's JC. So for today's video, I am doing this gold and pink double cut crease for you guys. As you can probably tell, I've really been into these more like bold and colorful looks lately, so I know I'm definitely enjoying them, and I hope you guys are as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm starting off by priming my eyes with some concealer and blending it out and then putting a skin tone eyeshadow over the top just to help with blending and keep my eyeshadow in place. Then I'm taking my Morphe 35C palette and I'm going in with this really dark cranberry shade and I'm taking an angled brush and I'm starting to outline my crease which is basically when I open my eyes the part that's like a line basically is the best way to explain it and I'm just going to take that color and start to run it over that and then flick it out at the end. Next I'm going in with my Manny MUA slash Makeup Geek palette and going in with that dark red color. I'm just going to start to buff out the cranberry shade with a fluffy brush and I'm just using a very tiny bit of product with this just so that it's really light and diffused and pretty. Next I'm going back in with that cranberry shade again just to re-outline that crease and I also wanted to make it a little higher on the end as you can see I'm outlining it a little bit differently because it's super easy to touch up with concealer afterwards. Then I'm just going back in again with the cranberry shade and a little bit fluffier brush just to continue to diffuse out the colors and make it more of an ombre effect and less harsh. Then I'm going back in with my concealer and using a flat brush I'm starting to outline the bottom of that cut crease that I created and flicking it out at the end and just touching it up so that the line is super sharp and clean. Then I'm going back in with the cranberry shade again just to again touch up the line, make it a little smoother and a cleaner transition. Next, I am, surprise again, taking that cranberry shade and I am just overlining this to make a winged eyeliner kind of shape is the best way to describe it. I'm just outlining this over my lid and then creating this winged eyeliner shape and then filling it in, leaving a little bit of a gap as you can see between my cut crease and this new layer of eyeshadow. And once that's filled in, I'm just going back in with some concealer to clean it up even more. And I'm also using that concealer at the bottom just to sharpen up the wing and make it look more like eyeliner as opposed to eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with this gold glitter eyeliner and I didn't get to show all of it. Basically I'm putting it in my inner corner and then I'm starting to build it up along my lid. I'm going to about halfway across my lid and starting to use a lighter hand on it so that it's more of a gradient. And I just think this looks super pretty and then I'm going in with surprise the cranberry shade again. I've used it for pretty much all of this look but I'm just attaching this to the wing and bringing it down along my lash line and then I'll be using a fluffier brush just to diffuse it a little bit and make it a little less harsh. Next I am going in with this gold shade which this isn't necessarily a step you need to do but I just thought why not? I was messing around and I'm just putting this a little bit in my inner corners just to add a little bit more color to the look. Next I'm going in with my favorite. I love this aftershave. I use it as a primer and it just helps my makeup stay on forever. It is the best primer I have ever used and I absolutely love it. And I'm just putting this all over my face until it starts to become tacky. Then I'm taking my foundation and I'm putting it on my face as one does and I absolutely love this foundation. I was very pleasantly surprised by it because I usually prefer the more high-end foundations especially since I'm so pale but this one actually matches my skin tone at least for the summer and I really like the finish so I'm super happy about that. It's super cheap and I definitely recommend it. Next I'm going back in with my concealer and I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes 
And then I am also going to be putting it on my chin as well as on my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead. And I do this just to highlight. I say that like sarcastically almost because the concealer I'm using right now is actually a little bit darker than my skin tone, but this is what I do when I have my concealer that's lighter than my skin tone. And then I'm just going to be blending this out a little bit. And I actually just found this brush. I never used it and it blends out my concealer so well and I was really excited about that. But so yeah, I'm just blending everything out. And then I'm going to be going in with this translucent setting powder just a little bit under my eyes to set it being super, super, super careful not to get anything over my eye makeup because you would not want to ruin what you just work so hard on. Then I am going in with my contour palette and as you can see I have used this so much. I'm going in and I'm just starting to contour a little bit very lightly just over my cheekbones and then I'm also going to put it a tiny bit on my forehead as well. Just like I said, super light. I don't want like a really harsh contour. Since I did such like bold eyes, I didn't want to take away from that doing a super heavy contour or a super bold lip or anything like that. And then I'm also going to be contouring on my nose just a tiny bit. I don't do it for like shaping reasons. Just I do it so that my nose doesn't like disappear with all of my foundation and my concealer and whatnot. Next I am going in with my Holy Grail Glow Kit. I'm going in with Crushed Pearl. Oh my gosh, can we talk about this highlight? It's so beautiful. And I'm just putting this on my cheekbones. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm gonna be also putting it on my Cupid's bow as well as on the tip of my nose. Next I'm going in with this blush, it's by NYX, and I am just going to be applying this on the apples of my cheeks to blend out my contour and my highlight. Now I'm going in with my setting spray just to keep my makeup on all day, and then I'm going in with some fake lashes, mine are the 105s from Ardell. And I'm using some eyeliner just to touch it up and hide the band of those fake lashes and then some mascara to blend it out a little bit better. I'm going in with my lipstick. This is my favorite lip color. It's Magic Wand by ColourPop. It's not one of their matte ones. It's one of their satin lips, I believe, and it's so nice. So this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and you can also subscribe down below for more videos like this one in the future. You can also follow both my Instagram and my Twitter. They're both at JC Carmichael. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!